replacement video for Apple's iPhone 3GS. We've listened to your feedback and have incorporated the best features from our previous videos into this great guide. The battery replacement process for the iPhone 3GS is nearly identical to the 3G, except for an additional connector that needs to be accounted for. The batteries between these devices are not compatible, so it's important to order the correct battery. In addition, it's important to know that opening up the case on the iPhone voids the warranty. You are performing this repair at your own risk. Okay, let's talk about preparation. You'll need a suction cup for the removal of the touchscreen glass, a microphillips and micro flathead screwdriver, and a pin or paper clip. There are three core layers that make up the iPhone and disassembly process. These are the touchscreen glass, the system board, and the battery. If you follow this guide completely, you'll be successful in your replacement endeavor. Okay, let's see the replacement process in action. Let's start by powering off the iPhone. Hold down the power button for six seconds in the upper right hand corner. After this has been held down, you'll see the shutdown slider appear. Shut down the iPhone now. Next, locate the small hole to the left of the shutdown button. You'll want to insert a small pin or paper clip to eject the SIM card. Set the SIM card down in a safe place. Next, you'll want to remove the two Phillips screws located on each side of the docking port. Okay, we are now in a position to remove the glass touch screen. You'll want to start at the bottom towards the dock connector and lift out. We recommend the use of a suction cup to lift the screen up. Slowly but firmly pull up until the screen releases. Be careful not to remove the back side of the touch screen as there are connectors that will need to be disconnected. There are three connectors that need to be disconnected to release the touch screen glass. Connectors number one and two are visible. Connector number three is located under the ribbon cable of connector number two. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release these connectors. This will leave the final third connector remaining which is held in place by a locking mechanism. To release this connector press up on the white lever arm with your tool. Slowly slide the screen away from the iPhone base. Note, this third connector is the most difficult to reconnect during reassembly. With the touchscreen glass removed, we now have access to the system board. There are four connectors that need to be disconnected prior to removing the system board. These connectors are labeled 4, 5, 6, and 7. Release these connectors now. Once this is completed, we can now remove the screws holding down the system board. There are a total of eight screws that will need to be removed. Make sure to keep the screws in order as some of the sizes differ. Also, please note that one of the screws is covered up by a warranty label that indicates do not remove. Use the on-screen screw location map as a reference. Here is the screw removal process in a time compressed format. Notice how we are keeping the removed screws in a logical order up above to help during the reassembly process.
We are now ready to remove the system board. To start, unseat the camera out of its base by leveraging it with the flathead screwdriver. Next, we are going to slowly wiggle the system board out of the base by lifting and pulling on the dock side of the system board. As you work the board, it will slowly release. The next step is the battery replacement process. The battery is held down by double-sided tape. You'll need to leverage your flathead screwdriver under the battery in multiple spots. Eventually the battery will release, allowing you to install the new battery. We are now moving directly into the reassembly process. Important, when reinserting the system board, the front edge of the board near the camera assembly fits under a lip near the SIM opening. We've presented the reassembly here in a time compressed format. Reset all connectors firmly and don't forget to lock down connector number three. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of the iPhone 3GS battery replacement process. Please visit our sponsors at www.iphonebatteryrepair.com, iphonereplacementparts.com, and imobiledoctor.com.